Hello there ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another video. Now in this one I'm going to be I'm going to be going back to Android 9 because um Android 10 isn't really quite ready yet. <laughs> like it works fine, you could probably get away with using it, but some of the stuff I use doesn't really work on it. And so yeah. Now this video is going to be a little bit similar to the on brick video but with this one we don't actually have to use the EDL cable since because the phone is working fine we can reboot to EDL mode without using a special cable so yeah let us begin so you will need the same files as before so I'll have this link down in this description and uh, just download this zip file and then so this is it here uh, if you unzip it you'll get this file here and if you go inside here you will see a bunch of different files here so now what you want to do is grab your phone and uh, turn it off. Now we're going to be erasing everything, so uh, make a TWRP backup of Android 10 just in case you want to install it again. I already did that, so. Okay, don't know why it turned on again. Alright. And then hold down the power button and the volume up button at the same time to get inside fastboot. All right, there we go. Now, in this folder, we actually have fastboot downloaded. It kind of comes with it, which is very nice. So go into images, uh, hold down shift on your keyboard, right click on your mouse and then either open command prompt or powershell uh, i prefer powershell since its syntax is a bit more unix like so and then there is a fast boot uh, binary here all right yeah forgot windows uses the backslash anyway and then what you want to type in is oem enter and then DLOAD, D well, with only one O. All right, and before you enter this, open up Device Manager. And then just keep an eye on it. I'll just put it to the side here. Oh yeah, and uh, I forgot to mention another thing before you do this. Uh, go inside here and install this. So just double click on this and run through the installation. This is the Qualcomm drivers that we need for EDL download. So if you haven't done that, just run it here before we continue. All right, yo. And so because your phone, when it enters EDL mode, it won't display anything and it looks like it's off so to make sure that's working uh, a ports section will come up here after we run this command so just click enter to run and as you can see here we have a new ports that appeared and it should be exactly this make sure the number is 9008 and doesn't really matter about the com so now that the phone is in EDL mode, we can flash um, factory Android 9 version, which is kind of the easiest way of going back. So go back to your folder here, where you have extracted the firmware from here. And then go into the Mi Flash and go into the Xio Mi Flash EXE. So the kind of orange icon here. This will ask you for uh, administrator. So just click yes. And then over here, 
select and go to where you downloaded your firmware from here and then click the images so it'll be in the same file as the me flash but then just click the images folder which is just this folder here then click OK here and it'll come up here then you want to click on refresh and as you can see we have a device here com5 so if we go over to our device manager it is this the same thing here so this is our phone and then you want to just click flash here and this will take a good like I don't know 10 minutes or so so don't touch your phone don't touch the USB cable don't touch your PC <laughs> don't touch yourself as well and then just wait for it to finish all right that didn't actually take too long so that's good so we can exit out of this now and we pop over back to the phone what you want to do is hold down the power button hold down the two volume keys until you see uh, this disappear from your computer and then once that disappears let go of the volume down key and so just keep holding the power key and the volume up once this disappears from your computer so I'll just show you how it looks like on the phone so hold it down all right disappeared now so I'm just gonna stick my middle finger in there and uh, keep holding it until you get to the fast boot screen or maybe that just turned it off so just hold down the power button and the volume up all right so that was a bit weird i had to stick my phone into the charger <laughs> For like a few seconds and then it turned on again so not bad all right so now we want to get inside fastboot mode again all right well perfect it got into it already <laughs> so anyway if this comes up you're kind of lucky because we need to do this anyway but if it doesn't um you need to go into fastboot by holding down this and that until you get to the fastboot menu then cycle using these buttons until you hit the recovery menu and then hit that to launch recovery menu and then go into factory reset data uh, so it'll be kind of the same thing as this and then just press yes on that oh yeah there we go perfect so now just scroll down press yes yeah, so for me, <laughs> it launched into factory reset by itself somehow. So that was kind of lucky, I guess. And now, because this phone is actually kind of old version now, I think it's like version 35 or whatever whereas version 64 is the latest one. So we need to go back into fastboot and then flash the latest version. Now uh, I have a TWRP backup of the latest version, so I'm just gonna flash that. If you don't have a TWRP, you can flash this one. If you scroll down here, download this extract it twice and then you'll find the flash all all right fantastic 
<laughs> God damn it. So, Wi-Fi isn't fucking working. Oh well. Okay, so... We're gonna have to run the flash all fucking thing. Alright, so power off the device. God damn, this phone, man, is just so bad. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's a good phone, but when it comes to doing shit like this, it's really annoying. Alright, so we are actually going to run the flash all. Okay, dokie. So this is the thing that I'm talking about. So just download this, then extract it. I extracted it to here somewhere, and then here it is. And then you need to open up this one. Uh, PowerShell doesn't actually work for some reason. Don't know why, but anyway, then just run flash all. AFT, CMD, so just type it in, don't drag it in. And then there you go, it's gonna start flashing. This is gonna run for about uh, 10 minutes or so. It'll show nothing. Uh, there won't be any progress until it's done basically. And uh, and on your phone, there won't be any progresses. progress as well. It'll be just stuck here on this fast boot. So I'll just wait for this. All right, there we go. So that's done. And uh, now your phone will try to reboot, but we actually need to go back into uh, recovery and do a factory reset again. So just wait for it to boot up to whoever, and then we'll shut it down. And hopefully Wi-Fi this time works. <laughs> Don't know what happened last time. All right, great. Uh, power off. All right, now once off, hold down the power button and the volume up. Oh, perfect, okay, we're already in here. Go into recovery mode. Now this will be um, Asus's recovery, not TWRP. Then just wait for it to load. There we go. Go down to wipe data uh, factory reset. Then click yes. Great. And then reboot system now. And then we want to complete the basic setup so that we can transfer the TWRP files. <laughs> it's kind of stupid way to do it, but whatever. <laughs> All right, so this is um, after a while. <laughs> I'm actually recording this after I recorded the last part that you've seen. Now, this is because I tried to get TWRP working, but for the love of God, it did not work. <laughs> like, it restored the fucking backups, but it didn't boot at all. Now I'm back, like, normal, whatever. So this is just standard Android 9.64, version 64, whatever. 
but I have been using titanium painstakingly to restore all the fucking apps. Half of them get stuck when restoring. So yeah, that's great. Um, yeah, so the original video <laughs> I'll show you here is two hours long, you know, not too bad, not too bad. Two hours, that's, that's not bad. So here's me trying to use TWRP. I'll just kind of like skip through this. It'll be easier than editing the two hours crap. So yeah, it failed. Try it again, it failed. I tried wiping everything, it failed. So then I had to use the flash all again. And then copied over all the fucking TWRP files. Tried flashing again, it failed. And then I decided to give up. <laughs> and so I just continued on for like f after flashing the flash all thingy, then it was fine. Well, it booted at least. So I have installed Magisk anyway. Um, yeah, so I've installed Magisk anyway, wherever it is. Uh, where the hell is the APK? <laughs> oh yeah, there it is. All right, so as you can see, the feckin' safety neck check is fine after all the crap I did, so that's good. Um, so yeah, and as you can see, wow, oh my god, the gestures work with the fucking like a non-standard launcher, so that's great. Don't know why it doesn't work in Android 10, but whatever. So yeah, that's um, about it, really. This phone kind of sucks <laughs> for uh, like backing up and all that kind of shit. I have no idea why it doesn't work with TWRP Restore. Like, I just hope custom ROMs come out fast for this phone because it badly needs it, basically. <laughs> Any custom ROM I tried to back up Restore works flawlessly. So should probably be the case with this phone, but like you never know, you just never know, I don't know. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching and uh, bye bye.